Well, I'm just heading across the River Fowl on the ferry, the King Harry Ferry, and I'm heading down to Mylor to meet up with a TV filming crew that are making an episode of a fishing program for a national TV channel. And basically what happened, they contacted me via the YouTube channel and asked me if I'd like to contribute to part of the episode. And my contribution is to help them catch squid from a kayak. Now catching squid from a kayak is something that I do in the autumn months, in the early winter months when it's known that the squid come in. So I'm going to meet up with the crew and what they've done is they, they've chartered a a charter fishing boat and a dive boat and that's where the crew are going to do the filming from but I also believe they're going to put cameras on the kayaks as well but we're also going to load the kayaks up on, onto the boat and then take take them out near to the mark to cut down on the paddling time and launch it from the boat and that's going to be interesting it'll be a first for me I, I've never actually got on a kayak from a boat so that that should be fun but I'm also supplying the kayaks and the fishing tackle but uh, I'm going out with one of the presenters and hopefully there'll be one or two squid around and we can at least catch one squid so I'm going to film out of just to thought it'd be interesting to film the meeting up with the crew the loading up the going out on the boat but I won't be on this part I won't be able to film any of the fishing but just before the program comes comes out and it's due to come out I believe about the end of next summer or the autumn, September, they film these things about a year in advance. I'll be able to show more footage of the day. So hopefully it'll be fun and it will certainly be an experience. arriving at Milo and I have to say it's absolutely years since I've came here so I've no idea where to park I suppose this will do Charlie to have a little uh, get used to it really. We're going to have to think about the mounts as well. Yeah, okay. Charlie, Hi Charlie, Charlie. pleased to meet you. Very pleased How to meet you. Are you alright? Yeah, good. Nice mate, look at these bad you're, you're the yellow one. It's wider, it's more stable. Mate, that's, that's always a good thing mate. Yeah. This is awesome. Very nice. We had a go, we've had a go on these before, so we should be alright. Yeah, okay. Nice and stable out there anyway. We've got two rods, one rod you'll be working with the other rod you just need bobbing and just with a wave fraction yeah. yeah that's the idea I'll, when we get on the boat i'll show you the setup but what, say that? say you work one rod that side do you use the Pop that little squid lures little you know the little yeah. jig lures okay. i know the drill they're the ones are they they're the ones uv ones come on in ali this is rob rob ali ali's my uh, series producer Ali, hey, nice great to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Yep. How are you Good. doing? Yeah, very well, so thanks. Excellent. He's sort of directing it and the boss. He is the yeah, boss. Very, very important. Cool. Um, I think what we're going to do is we'll just get a couple of shots of Charlie meeting you here um, and getting sort of set up and going. And then I think, I think as Jules explained, we'll just see the two of you launching from here, just paddling out probably just as far as where the water is just sort of slightly changing there. Yeah, yeah. And then turn around and come back again because I know we're going to load on to Nigel's right. boat and then steam across. Yeah. So we'll just get this shot and then we, what we'll do when we get over towards where you're going to be, 
we'll pop you back in the water and we've got a drone and we'll get a drone up and we'll get some nice shots of you travelling out yeah. on the drone and then then go straight in. Yeah. You can see. I've got a little container mate. Yeah. Bloody rich this, isn't it? That's for your squid by the way. Yeah, there'll be lots of them in there. We're gonna eat them, they're gonna spray ink all over me. Well <laughs> you might get inked. Yeah, fair enough. Grab them behind the head. Yeah. And try and keep them pointed away from you. Yeah, yeah. they squirt water. But I think you should get it. inked. It'd be good for the for video, wouldn't it? <laughs> Man, this is a fucking problem. Yeah, enough of this shit. I don't want to get it all over my head. Can we buy you a brand new graphic? Yeah, you can buy me a new graphic. Awesome. Well, post check. The um, Jules gave you the waterfalls, the little cameras. Have you still got them with you? Here? I have. We will. They, they lick up, or they're quite easy. Yeah, uh, it's, it's um, pretty easy to. I've got them fully charged for you. Okay. Um, because what we'll do, and you can put them midway, so when you've got lures or hooks below and hooks above, can you? Not really, no. Because I saw you sent some stuff back, and one was looking up and one was looking down. Mm. Wasn't it? Yeah, one, one was, one was the bottom like that at the end of the trace, and the, yeah. with the weight there. Yeah. And one was the the link that comes down on the rod, it was clipped on the top one there, yeah. and then and then. Yeah. Bo in both cases, whether it was pointing down or pointing up, looking at. A hook so if something bit or something was on the hook you'd be able to see it you should be able to yeah, yeah. but yeah you, you saw that you saw the bit i sent yeah yeah you can the see the old shots were good the shots yeah. were, i don't know i don't know how did you do, drop it as deep as it needs to be at that particular time it was just off the bottom but in that state of the tide it was about 80 feet right today we'll be fishing the main channel at high water it gets to over 100 feet but we're never right. going to get to that because right. we're not we're probably not going to fish to that time yeah, we're going to yeah. fish around the low water period right. so you probably start at about 75 feet probably get this afternoon to a maximum 90 feet so right. that was 80 feet right okay so you still get some visibility through the water at that depth yeah depth. Yeah. yeah you see the you, you know so you see the ultra best to put them on the one the jigs that have got the most ultraviolet vi yeah, yeah yeah the, the other ones which are great jigs but they more glow on the eye only yeah so from above you'll see the ultraviolet as mm. you did in that video but underneath you won't but you you got the as you saw you got, it's lighter. Yeah, yeah. Surface, yeah. And whether it puts put, but I mean this is only my suggestion is if Charlie works one rod and then the the other rod that goes over working itself yeah. with the up and down then Indeed. put the cameras on those. Yeah, yeah, the ones that work themselves. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because you don't you don't you saw that picture you saw there was no movement from me. Yeah. The current right was right. moving those jigs. Let's get these arrival shots for you, Charlie, and then we'll, we'll work Charlie out. Walking but I think what you're suggesting there uh, no, good, sounds yeah. quite good, yeah. 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 So you know what's happening. Right, you're right. Yeah, that's <laughs> Oh, I've got the kayak.